it's been a long time since I last made a video. I have been busy and it's just really couldn't find the time to do it. Well, I finally found some time to go ahead and make this. Um, the look that I'm doing is a like a rocker gothic look. Um, I actually got the inspiration from Guitar Hero. <laughs> Me and my dad have been playing that quite often. And one of the characters, Judy Nels, I got the inspiration from. And one of the outfits that she wears, it's like red skirt and red makeup and red lips and piercings, which that's kind of what this is. But yeah, um, I thought that it was really fun to do. It was simple. I just made it my own, and I really hope that you guys enjoy this. Alright, I already took the time to get that one done just to save a little bit of extra time. First thing you want to do is get a red liner pencil. I'm using a lip liner pencil. It doesn't have to be a lip liner, it could be eyeliner, it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever color you want. I just chose to do red. So take it and just put it on your lid. Just all over. You only want to bring it up to the crease. Like that. And then just put a little under your waterline. Okay, and take a q-tip and just kind of blend out the harsh edges. So. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if it's smudgy. That's kind of what we want. It's kind of like that dark, eerie, gothic, vampire-ish kind of look. So if it's smudgy, it's okay. Then, the palette that I'm using is my Shawnee, Shaney, Shawnee, whatever you want to call it, 40 palette. We're going to take black, which is the only black that we have in this palette, and just get an eyeshadow brush, get a little bit of black. And what we're going to do is kind of make the, like, the little arch in the crease. So start at the outer corner of the eye and just kind of be careful with it and just... We don't want to go all the way in the crease, just halfway and a little under. Looks kind of dorky but we're going to blend it so... It's okay. For my blending brush is just a e.l.f. cheapo brush and then just blend it. Okay and after we gotta blend a little bit it's a little uneven but it's okay I'll fix it later. Get some red eyeshadow with a different eyeshadow brush from the same palette. Use this red. And then just dab it like where the red is. Take your blending brush and just blend upward. Next. For our eyeliner, just gonna do a simple line. Eyeliner I'm using is at Sally's Beauty Salon and it's a cake liner. Um, I got this on sale for three dollars. It was for eight dollars so yeah it was a pretty good deal for cake liner and for cake liner you're gonna want to use it wet so get like a little bit of contact solution and get your eyeliner brush just kind of dip it in the contact solution not too much and we're gonna be using the black one and just want to make a thin line on the top lid. Like 
like that. Get a black pencil liner. I'm using Mary Kay and Ashley. And then just put it on the waterline. Like that. Get your mascara. It could be any mascara, it doesn't matter. I'm using Maybelline Colossal in black. And then just put it on. And for the highlight, we're just going to use just white. And from the same palette, it's just going to be this white. Okay. For my eyebrows, I just did a little bit of purple on them. Get like a little angled brush or any brush that you have and just get a little bit of purple, which I'm using that one. And then just put it on your eyebrows. Okay, I went ahead and just did the wings on that side. For the lips, because we want like the really big red ruby lips, take that same red pencil and just fill in your lips. You know, don't, you know, line them, then just fill them in. So, for lipstick, I'm using Max Factor uh, number 40. And you could just apply like from the tube or what I want it or what I'm going to do. Let's just use a brush from it and just get a little off that. Once I have that on, I'm going to use a red lip gloss. And this is from Color Workshop. So it's just a cheap Depot brand. Once that's on, I'm going to glue a little gem right here for like a little lip ring or a little piercing. And I'm just using little nail gems. You don't have to, I'm just doing it because I think it's cute. Get a lash glue and put it wherever you want your gem to go. Okay, and then I'm just gonna let that dry. Alright, I just went ahead and let this dry. I think it was cute. Um, also, while I was drying, I got a collar on, let my hair down. I thought that the collar was a nice touch for the rocker gothic look that we were trying to do. Alright, but yeah, that's the look and I hope that you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.